Hey, I'm Andrew from Leapworks. Today, I'll show you how to create a stunning content showcase with a single widget, Textual Showcase from Premium Add-ons for Elementor. This widget helps you create eye-catching layouts that combine text, images, and drawing icons. You can even add Lottie animations to make your showcase stand out. It's super easy to use, and the results are impressive. With hover effects and color choices, you have complete control to match your desired style, keeping everything dynamic and responsive across all devices. So, let's dive into how you can achieve an elegant look with minimal effort. Before we begin, make sure you have Elementor and Premium add-ons for Elementor plugins installed and activated on your WordPress site. Also, don't forget to enable Textual Showcase widget in Premium add-ons control panel so it's ready to use in Elementor. Keep in mind that some features require Premium Add-ons Pro plugin for full functionality. Let's get started. I'll guide you step-by-step -step to create a dynamic section like this using one widget. First in Elementor Editor, I search for the Premium Textual Showcase widget and drag it into my selected container. Next, I navigate to the Content section to customize each element. I can add or remove items and choose the element type, whether it's icons, text, images, Lottie animations, or SVG. I'll keep the type as text and add the word discover. Since it's the hero section, I'll choose an HTML tag like H1 for better SEO. Next, let's customize the text. I'll begin by changing the color to white. Then, I'll adjust the typography by changing the font family, setting the font size to 60 pixels, and adjusting the line height to 1.1M for optimal readability. If needed, I can also add a clickable link to the text. Next, I'll add an icon. I can choose between Font Awesome or a custom SVG. For this example, I will use a custom SVG icon. You can animate the icon using this draw option that utilizes the SVG Draw Global feature. To learn how, watch the video tutorial linked here. I can recolor, resize, and adjust it to perfectly match the rest of my design. Let's proceed. I will add a new text element. All right, now I'll insert a new item. This time I want to add an image. So in my example, I'll select one from my library. I can easily adjust its width and height to fit perfectly within my layout. Now for hover effects. Hover element control lets me set a different element to appear when users interact with the main element. For example, I'll add another sun image to show on hover. I can also add a smooth transition between the main and hover states, creating a subtle yet engaging interactive effect. Let's add another text element to complete the sentence and add a new one for textual showcase word. Let's change the text color. Next, I will use the highlight effect options. I'll choose the outline style and match it to the text color. Here I can adjust the line thickness for a bolder or subtler look and even control the outline animation speed. Additionally, I can adjust the text width as needed and rotate the text for a unique look. There are various styling options available, such as adding a solid color behind the text. You can also set an image background with a clipped effect, allowing it to blend smoothly. See, it looks amazing. Let's remove it, cause I don't need it in my example. I'll add a new text element for the word unrivaled. Now let's add a Lottie animation. Watch the video tutorial linked here to learn how to use the Lottie animation global feature in this widget. Next, I'll set another Lottie animation to appear on Hover. 
At first, both elements stack on top of each other, but I'll fix that by using the hide on hover option. This hides the main element when the hover effect is active, keeping everything neat and seamless. Next, I'll add another text element and one more for the final item. I will align it to the left, change its color, and set the font to Barlow with a size of 17 pixel. Additionally, I'll set the text to uppercase, apply an italic style, and adjust the line height to 1.1M. I also set the item container width to 165 pixel. I have full control over spacing here. I can adjust the horizontal and vertical margins to make sure every element fits perfectly with the surrounding content. For alignment, I can easily choose between start, center, or end to position elements exactly where they need to be. And for animations, it's super flexible. I can set them to start when the user scrolls to the element or trigger them on hover. And there you have it. With Textual Showcase Widget, you can create eye-catching, interactive designs that are fully responsive and super customizable, all without complex layouts. If you're looking for the design showcased in the demo, Premium Add-ons provides it in the section templates. You can easily find it and customize it to suit your needs. Want to add some style to your images on Hover? In Elementor Style tab, the Hover CSS filters let you easily create effects. Blur softens the image for a focused or dreamlike look, while brightness adjusts how light or dark the image appears. Contrast controls the difference between light and dark areas, affecting sharpness, and saturation changes the intensity of colors from vibrant to grayscale. Hue shifts the image's colors across the spectrum. You can combine these filters for even more creative results. It's a simple way to make your images more engaging. And that's it. With these powerful controls, you're all set to create a visually stunning and highly customizable textual showcase. Explore each feature, experiment with the various options, and discover how they can enhance your website's design, making it more engaging and interactive. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest tips and tutorials.